Bush had continued Clinton's expansion of NATO bases closer to Russia, breaking his father's promise to Gorbachev. Obama expanded NATO to Albania and Croatia. And despite abandoning 500 bases in Iraq, the Obama administration, in addition to an estimated 6,000 bases in the US, is maintaining close to 1,000 overseas bases that span the globe. The US had, by late 2007, gained a military presence, according to Stanford's Chalmers Johnson, in 151 of 192 UN member nations. In 2008, AFRICOM, based in Germany, was added as a sixth command responsible for growing U.S. military presence in Africa. SOUTHCOM, based in Miami, was reorganized in 2010 to increase U.S. military presence in Latin America with bases and surveillance systems, counter-drug and counter-insurgency programs targeting manifestations of radical populism as seen in Venezuela. The 4th Fleet was reactivated in 2008 for the first time since World War II. The Navy now has 10 carrier strike groups patrolling international waters. America's Navy, a global force for good. In 2011, the U.S. sold an astonishing 78% of the world's arms. During the Bush years, Pentagon spending more than doubled to $700 billion. Although the real Pentagon budget blurs into secret functions and different departments of government, by 2010, according to the National Priorities Project, the U.S. actually spends an estimated $1.2 trillion out of its $3 trillion annual budget on military, intelligence, and homeland security. A full-spectrum dominance of land, sea, air, space, and cyberspace. In November 2011, Secretary of State Clinton threw down the gauntlet on China, writing, as the war in Iraq winds down and America begins to withdraw its forces from Afghanistan, the United States stands at a pivot point. Calling this America's Pacific Century, she meant a substantially increased military involvement in the Asia-Pacific region to contain China.